Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this week's local housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of Hurricane Debbie, August 6, 2024. And the big news, of course, today that everyone is talking about is mortgage rates. We have a lot to unpack, so I'm just going to shoot through this tonight. We're here to get the meat and get out of here. That's what these market reports are for, to keep you informed and up to date. And with that being said, I've seen reports of rates as low as 6.125%. So if you take a look here, I just pulled this up from Fox Business, but um, you can go look up the reports. They're all over the internet. There's an example of that right there. And the short story is the reports of the job market came in uh, lower than anticipated. And that's basically been the catalyst behind this drop, this push. I've got some buyers who have recently closed, recently purchased that weren't too thrilled to see this. And so instead of camping on what wasn't, I think more of the focus tonight should be, well, what is? Where are we right now? That's really probably what's more important. And how can we factor in that information with data that's less volatile, that's more cyclical, that's more stable and consistent in its nature? And that's what we're here to try to do. So let's go right back to what we always do. And then let's factor in this current atmosphere into what we see. Now, we've been talking for weeks about the coming shift due to the cyclical pattern, the consistent nature of our market. And the question is, you know, we said at any given point, we're going to see where this turn is going to start to take place. Well, have the last seven days been the beginning of that turn? And the answer is it's quite possible. But with this variable of mortgage rates now, that could certainly alter any possibility of that, even if that were going to be the case. Let's take a look. One of the big things to look at in terms of the heat of the market is the average days on market. And so since February, but really mid-April, we've been on this sharp decrease in terms of the number of the average days on market for properties in Florence across the entire market, with the exception of the bottom 90-day portion of our market, which was actually the opposite. But by and large, average days on market for the city of Florence has been on a decline. However, over the last 14 days, that number has started to slightly increase just by one day. But it's an increase. Now, is that going to hold true? And I'm inclined to think the answer is going to be no. Because if mortgage rates are a percent, percent and a half lower than they've been for a majority of this year, I would expect the answer to that is going to be no. It'll be interesting to see what happens uh, over the course of the next week by the time we get back to this next Tuesday. Kind of the same story with properties with a price decrease over the last 14 days. That number has also slightly started to go up just a hair, only about half a percent. But nonetheless, it's been on a decline consistently since May 31st every week, lower and lower and lower and lower as we've entered into the hotter portion of the season and not just the 125 degree heat indexes outside that we've been experiencing. And as far as price per square foot, no change there over the last seven days, but we're still up and I would not expect to see this number coming down overall. And the seven day average for inventory went up another 12 units, I'm sorry, 13 units over the last seven days also. So here's what I would say. It almost appeared as if we may just be breaching into that lull that was to be expected, not necessarily where things would fall off and go cold, but would start to simmer down a little bit from the heat of the 2024 market in Florence. And so that's why we've been encouraging sellers for the last three weeks, really since July 4th, um, more vehemently that if you're on the fence, it's time to get in the game. If you if you want to sell in 2024 and get the greatest return on the home, you know, be able to get the most for the house, then it's time to get it listed on the open market and get it available to the public. However, consumers in the housing market, by and large, are very aware, particularly when it comes to mortgage rates. It's something that people frequently look at, in my opinion, in terms of um, home buyers, there's many different facets to the home buying process. There's many different uh, variables to consider when purchasing a home, but it seems that people are the most informed about what the current mortgage rates are, not necessarily everything that goes into the fluctuation of mortgage rates, just the fact that, hey, I know what the average number is right now. I hear that frequently. I hear a lot of people that are alert to what 
the mortgage rates are. And a lot of that comes from the fact that they're speaking with their lender. You know, that's that's what a lot of it boils down to. But the bottom line is people track this stuff. They keep up with it on the Internet. They watch these things. It's a topic that people keep an eye on. And in keeping with that knowledge, for me, what I suspect to see happen is where we saw a low should these rates persist even where they are now, let alone if they continue to drop lower, we could see the housing market in Florence catch a second wind, so to speak. And so some of you out there that have had your homes on the market for a while and have not had a lot of traction in getting them sold, this is going to be very helpful for you. Uh, hopefully that's going to mean that you'll get a little bit more foot traffic, you know, an increase in showings, a real second win to your listing for those of you that have been on the market for beyond the average days on market of as we looked at in the 70s, give or take, depending on what segment you're in. But those of you that have been on the fence, like if last week was the time to get on the market uh, today, even more so, because you may be able to go under contract if you're priced accurately very quickly very quickly, much shorter than the average days on market. So for buyers, really, the encouragement is going to be more of the same, just amplified a couple of notches. Uh, if you're on the fence, now would be the time to get off. And so I would encourage you, I'll say it this way. All right, I'm not a recent buyer in terms of what we've seen in recent trends with mortgage rates. But like I said, I do have buyers that I've represented that are and I'll speak on behalf of them. Maybe one of them will leave a comment down in this video and reinforce what I'm saying if they see this, that many of them would probably be saying to you, hey, uh, I wouldn't wait another couple of months. If you know that you know that you're going to buy this year, now might be the time to really turn the heat up on your home search and try to go ahead and get something under contract. Because, I mean, it's election year. There, There's no telling which way any of this could swing. And so it's kind of like a gift just fell in your lap, basically. And so for those previous clients of mine that may be locked in at 7.25, 7.35, whatever percent, and you're looking at numbers around 6.125 or whatever you may qualify for, uh, but at least where those are possibilities, on behalf of what they got locked in at, I will tell you, you may really want to consider going ahead and getting serious about your house shopping today. Um, you know you're buying very soon. Like it's not going to be another year out or something. You know you're buying within the next few months, but you've been just kind of waiting to see what would happen. Well, this is your sign. Are you going to wait another couple of months and then the mortgage rate's going to drop even lower and you're going to get a 5% rate? That's a gamble you might not want to take because a couple months from now, the opposite could be true. And so again, the point of me saying that is sometimes there's a place for being predictive, but sometimes I've seen where people are so fixated on the idea of being predicted in environments that aren't really the easiest to predict because of the volatility and you could miss out on an opportunity. And for many of you, it may make the most sense that now's the time to shoot. But again, consult with your financial advisor, speak with your lender, pray about it, do whatever you need to do. I'm not here to pressure you into anything. I'm just telling you that quite possibly a great opportunity may have been laid into a lot of your laps right now. And for you sellers, you should be excited about this, especially those of you that did the right thing. You were responsible. You were sensitive to the market. You were either watching these market reports or you had some other realtor in another in another area and they they knew, as we know, to tell you, hey, right here coming into the spring, we want to max out our exposure throughout the hottest time of the market. You got into the market right at the beginning, but lo and behold, you're still sitting there without a contract on your house. Be encouraged. Be encouraged because a lot of savvy buyers are going to jump at this opportunity. Some of them were looking at houses like yours, but they didn't want to pay interest over 7%. And they wanted to see if maybe, just maybe, the hopes that we've had not once, not twice, but three times this year may actually come to fruition. And some circumstance would bring about a situation where the mortgage rates would decrease by maybe even a percent or so. And that's exactly where we are. So be encouraged because that home of yours could be under contract sooner than later. If you're the seller on the fence and you're not in the market and you want to sell in 2024, you got to get off the fence. I, I don't know another way to say it too. There's not any more signals that you could get to tell you if you want to sell in 2024, you need to get it listed today, yesterday. 
All right, and so I hope you find these helpful. If you do, please give the video a like. It helps us out a ton and we really appreciate it. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for future housing market updates such as this one and other real estate related and Florence and Myrtle Beach and South Carolina related content. And with that being said, as always, I wish you guys nothing but the best in your real estate endeavors, no matter what course of action you choose to take with your own finances and your own decision making. We're just here to provide you with some data and insights from our side. And so I look forward to speaking with you. In the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.